In this video, we're going to be looking at more complicated quadratic inequalities. So we're going to go jump straight in. Um, with this first one, we've got 3x plus 1, x minus 1 is greater than x, x minus 7 plus 2. So what you really want to do first is expand all of the brackets and move everything onto one side of the inequality to start. So if we expand the double brackets on the left-hand side, we'll get 3x squared minus 3x plus x, so minus 2x minus 1. And then expand the right-hand side, x squared minus 7x plus 2. We then want to move everything onto one side of the inequality. So I'm going to subtract x squared from both sides. I'm going to add 7x to both sides. And then I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides. And that leaves us with this quadratic inequality. We then want to uh, solve this. Okay, So this one I know to factorise. So 2 times minus 3 is minus 6. So two numbers that multiply to make minus 6 but add together to make 5 would be uh, 6 and minus 1. So we'd have 2x squared plus 6x minus x minus 3 is greater than 0. So then factorise both halves. So we'd have 2x, x plus 3. And if that's got to be x plus 3, then this bracket's got to be x plus 3. So we'd have minus 1 lots of x plus 3. So we've got 2x minus 1, x plus 3 is greater than 0. So this is a parabola that crosses the x-axis at 1 half and minus 3. So, positive parabola, minus 3, 1 half. Where is the parabola above the x-axis? Well, it's above it there and there. So, two regions, two inequalities. Okay? And that solves uh, the first one. Okay? Now, where have I put the eraser? There it is. <laughs> okay. Right. So, let's move on to number two. Uh, we have 2x squared plus 8x plus 11 is greater than 0. OK, so because I'm saying that this is a more complicated one, there must be some trick to it. Well, um, let's go in with the quadratic formula, uh, because I need to work out where the quadratic equals 0. So x equals minus b plus or minus b squared take away 4 times a times c square rooted all over 2a, so 2 lots of 2. So we get minus 8, plus or minus, well, we've got 64 take away 88. So 88 take away 64 is 24, so we've got the square root of minus 24 in the numerator, and 2 2s so are 4. So because we've got uh, minus 24 underneath the square root, that means that we're not going to get any real solutions here. So no real uh, roots. OK. Now, that's not all of the story, OK, because we still need to uh, solve the inequality. Now, what that's telling me is that the quadratic doesn't cross the x-axis. Um, now, because it's a positive x squared, that must mean that it's wholly above the x-axis. In order to have that shape, otherwise, it would have to cross the x-axis at some point. Uh, if it was a minus 2x squared, then it would be wholly underneath the x-axis. So when I'm solving the problem, where is the parabola above the x-axis? Well, it's above it everywhere. So uh, this is true for all... Uh, real values of x. Okay. Now, if you want to write that in more mathsy language, okay, this for all is written as an upside down a. And because we're talking about the real numbers, we can say, well, for all x belonging to the real numbers. Okay. Now, you don't have to remember to use that notation, but this is just kind of extending your knowledge at this point. So it would be true for all real values of x. OK, let's look at the next one. Let's erase that for a moment. 
OK. So we've got 2x squared plus 8x plus 1. I'm going to go straight in with the uh, quadratic formula. Um, no, actually, I'll change my mind. I'm going to go in with the uh, completing the square. Always good to keep up that practice. So if I'm going to solve that equation, um, well, sorry, I'll, I'll put it as less than 0. OK, so that would mean that we've got um, two lots of x squared plus 4x plus 1, factoring the 2 out of the first two terms. Then I'm going to complete the square on what's inside, so x plus 2 squared minus 4 plus 1. Then multiply through. Simplify that. Like so. OK, so where is that going to be crossing the x-axis? OK, well, for that, I'm going to need to look at the equation. OK, because solving that inequality, I've got to do graphically. But to solve the equation, I've got to put it equal to 0. So I can add 7 to both sides and divide both sides by 2, like that. Then you can square root both sides. This is the step that really doesn't work when you've got that inequality sign there. Okay, So if I maintained the inequality, this square rooting both sides doesn't really work. Then you can subtract 2 from both sides. So that's telling me where uh, I'm crossing the x-axis. OK, so now we're going to sketch it. So we're going to sketch this as a pro positive parabola crossing through the x-axis at two points. We've got minus 2 minus the square root of 7 halves and minus 2 plus the square root of 7 halves. So where is the parabola? Below the x-axis. It's below it there. So we are between these two values. Like so. OK? And that solves the inequality. Now, watch out for this, OK, with that inequality there. Now, in rearranging it, OK, it's all right up to that stage. But then it's when you square root that that inequality doesn't stay true at that point. So you've got to be wary of it. OK? So that's uh, number three. So let's have a look at number four. Number four, we've got two lots of x plus 2 squared minus 5 is greater than or equal to four lots of x plus 2 squared plus 1. So I'm going to expand the brackets on both sides and move it onto one side of the equation, or one side of the inequality. So I've got two lots of x squared plus 4x plus 4, take away 5, is greater than or equal to 4 lots of x squared plus 4x plus 4 uh, plus 1. Multiply those out. So 2x squared plus 8x plus 8, take away 5, is greater than or equal to 4x squared plus 16x plus 16 plus 1. Right, let's tidy that up. So 2x squared plus 8x uh, plus 3 is greater than or equal to 4x squared plus 16x plus 17. Move everything onto one side of the inequality. So if I move it onto uh, the left-hand side, we've got uh, 2x squared take away 4x squared is minus 2x squared. 8x take away 16x is minus 8x. 3 take away 17 is minus 14. So at this point, I've got negatives all the way through. So if I multiply through by minus 1, we'd have 2x squared plus 8x plus 14. And of course, because I've multiplied through by minus 1, I've got to change the direction of the inequality. OK, I could also divide through by 2. I should have spotted that earlier, but let's, let's do that now. Uh, divide through by 2, like so. Right, now let's try the quadratic formula with this. Uh, I can't think of two numbers that multiply together and make 7, but add together and make 4. So x equals 
minus b, so minus 4, plus or minus b squared, take away 4 times a times c, square rooted, all over 2a. So, uh, we've got minus 4, plus or minus 16, take away 28. So 28 take away 16 is 12. So that's the square root of minus 12 over 2. So there are no real roots. So that means that the quadratic does not cross the x-axis, much in the same way that number 2 didn't. So because we've got a positive parabola at this point, positive x squared, that means the parabola must be totally above the x-axis. So now when I'm asking where is the parabola below the x-axis, well, it never is, okay? So there are actually no solutions to this uh, inequality. Um, there are no values of x, no real values of x, that will solve this inequality for us. So unlike the situation where we had all real values of x solving that one, there are no real values of x solving number 4.